Hi Mini Masters, this is the video for a couple crafts that go along with the story Monsters Love Colors. So in this tutorial we're going to do two different crafts and then we're going to do another one in another video. The first thing that we're going to do is make an invisible color monster. So I don't know if you guys can see them. So what you need is a piece of watercolor paper or a heavy white paper. You need uh, some watercolors. I just got my pan watercolors here. Some water and a paintbrush, and then a white crayon. So what we're gonna do is, you see how I drew an outline of a monster? So when you draw your monster on white paper with a white crayon, it's gonna be hard to see. So, uh, you know, parents, if you wanna maybe do a light outline with a pencil, and then have them trace around it with the white um, crayon, that works too. Or you can just do it totally um, just, just by guessing. And then that's how it comes out to be a really funny looking monster. So I'm going to make a little head, some arms and a leg, and I'm gonna make a really, put some ears on there, at least I think that's where his ears are. Put some claws on his toes. And let's see if I got it right, let's see. So there's my monster, can't really see it very well, can you? But then, once we put our watercolors, so we gotta choose all the pretty colors of the rainbow here. So I'm gonna start with red, the first color of our rainbow. And I'm gonna start up at the top. Ooh, do you see that? Look what happens when I put watercolor on there. So that's what we're gonna do to reveal our monster that we've, that we've colored or that we've drawn with white crayon. Then you paint over top of it with some watercolors and then it reveals your monster. It reveals your thing that you had behind there. You can do that with any colors and shapes. If you wanna make squiggly lines and just practice with that, you can do that too. So there's your monster. And when he dries, then you can put some eyes on him or uh, do some accessories. You can make some claws or decorate him however you want. So make sure your monster dries and then you can do extra things. So next, it's going to be a really messy thing, but one of my favorite things to do. So what you need for this is some tempera paint, maybe about three colors, and then some paper plates. Now my favorite thing to do is to use our primary colors. Do you remember what our primary colors are? They're going to be red, yellow, and blue. So on the bottom of your paper plate, so your paper plate scoops up like that on the very bottom is where you want to put your three squirts of paint and then what we're going to do this is called process art so we don't know exactly what we're going to get but it's going to be pretty fun so you squish them together like this and then the two paper plates you see it and then you turn them like this just a little bit turn your hand and squish them together and then what you do is you slowly peel it off and it turns into this really pretty picture. And if you have too much paint, you can put a third paper plate on top of the plate with too much and do it one more time. So we'll, let's try that. Let's put it for a, another time. I got a white, another white paper plate and I'm gonna put it now onto a new paper plate and I'm gonna squish, 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 squish. And then here we go. So we've got three, almost identical, but a slightly different works of art just by squishing our colors together. So have fun, make a mess, but make sure to help clean up afterwards. So that's it. That's all you have to do for that one is just squish, 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 and scribble, scribble, scribble. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.